but talk about some of the different ideas you've had, whether they were dumb or whether you thought they were great or the different, just like things you've thought about. And then we'll get into some of the stuff you actually executed on. Sure. <clears throat> I, I actually, I don't know why this popped into my head. I, recently was going through my Google drive and I found a, a model that I put together of a, uh, of a business idea. Uh, I mean, honest to God, this is probably the dumbest that I, that it got, but I had an idea <laughs> to buy or to basically, uh, search Craigslist for free pianos. Um, and then basically tune them up a little bit, clean them up a little, a little bit and then, and flip them. And so it was basically this idea like, Hey, if you have a piano, cause I was, I was noticing there's a lot of people that had upright pianos or grand pianos and they just didn't, they didn't want them in their house anymore, but they didn't want to necessarily sell them or they didn't want to go through that effort. They just needed somebody to take them away. And, uh, so I actually had built a model. It wasn't that good. Uh, and I, it never, <laughs> it never materialized, but I mean, that's, that's kind of, uh, probably speaks into some of the, the dumber ideas that I've had, um, I mean, I've gone, there's a, there's a business there. I'll let you test some other ones. There's a business there. I mean, I think it helps if it's like supplementary, like we had a piano that was my wife's growing up and her, her mom and dad were very keen to like get it out of the house. And, uh, it was a nice piano. It was like a Kawhi and it wasn't yeah. upright and it took up a ton of space in their yep. house, which then they wanted to put it in our house, which then it could take up a ton of space there. And so yep. we did. And, uh, we had it for a few years. And then I think I went to Edmund music, which is like a local music store and was like, Hey, I called them and I was like, Hey, what would you pay me for this piano? And they offered me something quite a bit less than I felt like maybe if I tried to sell it on Craigslist, yep. I, in fact, I think I did list it on Craigslist and had a couple of people kick tires and, uh, yeah, I want that. But then they never followed through. And I was like, I'm tired of just like corresponding with people. Well, and so and I the ended problem up to them. The problem with like Craigslist too is, and I did this, I tried to sell a piano once and I had like two or three people who I thought were legit ended up not being legit. So then they like, mm -hmm. they wanted me to buy them a bunch of gift cards and crap like that. Right. I mean like total scam. And so I'm going, well, what if I just remove this whole middleman between Edmund music and the the homeowner and like even estate sales, right? It's like, Hey, just go find an estate sale that they're just like, nobody wanted to buy the baby grand that's in their grandma's, you know, front room and has been there for the last 50 years they need to get rid of it, you know, grab it, tune it up, resell. So pretty stupid ideas like that. I had one for golf. I'm pretty passionate about golf. And I had this idea essentially to go in where there's a top golf and just kind of a, adjacent to a top golf, uh, put in a, a more sophisticated simulator room. And it's not, it's like a gym. So 24 hour access key fob or code, you basically pay for access to TrackMan or foresight simulators in these bays. And, and what I was trying to like aim to there was, you know, top golf is great if you like bowling, right? Like if it's great for people who don't take golf seriously, because there's a game involved, you don't have to necessarily be good, but the balls are crappy because they've got these chips in them. The clubs are crappy because they're graphite shafts and overused and underloved. And so it's like, Hey, what if you give people who really love golf and want something like top golf, but they don't necessarily want to have to deal with all those other things, you know, give them an outlet. Um, so I, I built some models around that too, but, um, again, none of these have ever come to fruition, but they're fun to talk about. Also I roast coffee and love, uh, love that little venture. That's maybe more of a hobby. I don't know that we make any money, but we, uh, we enjoy roasting coffee. We've got a little setup out in the backyard shed where we can roast a couple pounds at a time and, it's been fun to experiment with different beans and different roasts and yeah, just kind of chase that. My, my brother's into roasting coffee and he pitched that idea to me for one time. He was like, should we, you know, go out and try to sell roasted coffee beans? And, uh, we talked about it for a while. It never went anywhere. We both enjoy drinking coffee a lot. We've also talked about just podcast ideas where we go and go to a different coffee shop, try it and sit down and like talk or whatever we've had. Like, just There's a market for that. Coffee. I think. I think there I think, is I mean, that, I mean like, yeah, it's kind of geeky, but I think I would listen to a couple guys that were just like talking about drinking coffee at different coffee shops. Cause then that would draw me to make, and I mean, you could probably get some kickback from the coffee shop. That's like free marketing in a way. Right. I mean, then yeah. I'm listening and I'm like, Oh, I'm going to go try that coffee shop. Exactly. No, we, uh, we thought about it and we didn't not ended up not doing it, but I don't think any ideas are bad ideas. I think sometimes, sometimes you have to go through the exploration process around an idea and what you're learning is you're learning how to evaluate something. Um, and you can do really big complex evaluations like buying a thousand wells and really fancy financial engineering, 
or you can do more nuts and bolts. Uh, kind of if I self funded this, what do my returns look like? What does the model look like? I mean, these are all skills that like can be applied to the next idea that will work. And so sometimes again, it gets back to like the leadership thing around seeing the leader that you were this, the implementation of a policy that you didn't like, you thought it was dumb. And then you're like, I learned from that maybe more in some ways than I learned for the stuff that yeah. was successful. 